the Patriots are always saying stuff like Trump won because nobody voted for Biden. Well, I voted for Biden. Very proudly. I admit, in 2016, I failed. I supported Trump. I don't know why, but I, I wanted to believe that the media was so full of crap that what they were saying about Trump wasn't true. Um, I just, you know, I had this vision that, okay, well, maybe they just got Trump wrong. You know, maybe, maybe Trump's just playing to, like, you know, the racists and stuff like that. But he's really not because once he gets in there, you know, he's really going to kind of turn on them and, and he's really going to just kind of be a, a neutral person and a, a negotiator and, and really be like a, a, a president for everybody. I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking during 2016. Um, you know, I didn't want to vote for Hillary because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I just, you know, the whole like smashing phones thing and being secretive about public records. I mean, I, I don't like that stuff. I mean, you're, what you people don't understand is your public servants, whether you're uh, the president, whether you're a secretary or a police officer or whatever, you, you are a public servant. You serve us. Okay. We are your boss. You're not like, um, you're not above us. You don't have any extra rights than us. You don't, you don't uh, intimidate us. You know, you don't hide stuff from us. You know, that that stuff really pisses me off, right? So some of the stuff that HRC was doing was was kind of pissing me off. Um, but anyway, um, you know, so I wanted, I really wanted to believe that Trump really wasn't like a racist, and he wasn't all these things that he actually like turned out to be. Um, so, you know, I'm like, okay, well, let's just give Trump a chance. I think a lot of people in 2016 wanted to give Trump a chance. I mean, I even saw like this, um, you know, posting from like the Grateful Dead where they were like, oh, hey, let's just give Trump a chance. You know, maybe, you know, maybe what he's saying will materialize into, into good things. But man, you know, you talk about like the most nasty, you know, like manipulative, you know, just no morals, no ethics, no respect for, you know, America or the Constitution or just people in general. I mean, anyone who comes to this country knew, whether it's the Germans, the Italians, the Irish, now it's the Mexicans. I mean, they're always put down and they're always labeled these things that, that they're not. Um, so, you know, I guess my personal experiences and knowing the history of my family, like I, I keep that in mind, right? And then just knowing Mexicans, every Mexican person I know is a great person and a very hard worker and, and a family person. So this thing about, you know, the people crossing the border, you know, the brown people are bad, you know, brown, brown people bad. I mean, this is, it's, it's so racist and not true. I mean, you know, I, I say just open up the borders, just let everybody in. But, that, you know, that's for another video. I'll tell you when I turned on Trump. Um, I had the flu during the Dr. Ford uh, testimony. So I, you know, was on the couch and I really watched everything, you know, all day long. So I got to see her testimony. Um, these like GOP pundits that I, I thought I respected a little bit, you know, like Dice and Waters and some of these other people. Um, who I thought, you know, okay, they're whatever. And, you know, they're kind of neutral, but they're kind of all right, guys. Well, you know, the day after she testified, you know, they were like, oh, yeah, she, you know, she's completely credible, you know, and, and a lot of the GQP pundits were like, oh, you know, she's really credible. And I'm like, yeah, you know, she's really credible. And that's really unfortunate what happened to this woman. And I've, I've got a soft spot, you know, for women that kind of go through this stuff. You know, it's it's not funny. And these people, these women should be taken seriously for sure. Um but then the very next day, you know, they all turned on her and they just like they added insult to this woman, you know, and they, they embarrassed her. And they really just like and I couldn't believe what I was what I was seeing. It's like these people, it's like they, they've got no soul. You know, there's like this woman tells a story of a um, attempted rape. Right. And these people, they're just like, you know, they're just like making fun of her, you know, and, and invalidating, you know, what she's saying. And it just, it turned my stomach. And I was like, man, these, these sons of bitches. It's like, man, I wish I was there. I, 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 I'd punch every single one of these, these, these guys. Um, and it, it really turned me. I mean, it, it turned me totally 180. I mean, I, I went total 
you know, total libtard after that, if you want to call it. Maybe it's because I had the flu. You know, maybe I had an epiphany being on my deathbed, you know. Um, but, you know, since then, you know, I started kind of to see things differently, you know, and, and I, I kind of saw, you know, kind of the lies that Trump was, was telling and, and just, you know, the racism and the people that really support him. You could really tell um, a lot about somebody based on, you know, who supports them, right? So, you know, lots of, you know, white supremacists, you know, and the, the QAnon movement backed him up, especially. And when that started happening, um, you know, I knew right away that this this was the wrong way for the country to go. I mean, these people, they just, you know, it's like lie after lie, hoax after hoax. You know, they, they lie about, you know, missing children and fake Hollywood drugs. And they harassed all these celebrities. I mean, they really their target for harassment was really anyone who spoke out against Donald Trump. These people would harass and say they were like all these all these things and then they'd try to convince women that all this you know stuff that you know they say was happening was really not happening you know that the kids really aren't missing um you know the drugs aren't real you know all this you know down the rabbit hole stuff is just a bunch of lies when QAnon actually does the research um when they say dig deep and do the research they, they really mean watch more QAnon videos and all these videos just kind of build on top of each other, right? But it's it's just all a bunch of crap. Um, so yeah, I mean, I was really pissed. I was really pissed when when Trump um, during the riots when Trump decided to to back the blue. I mean, this. Um, I mean, people forget that you know, black people are being murdered. Like it's not just black people. It's it's everyone. I mean, the police are just cold blood murdering people, abusing them, violating their rights, and they're not being held accountable, right? So then something happens. And then millions of people all over the world peacefully march. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember the TV when, when people all over the world were marching for George Floyd. And it's like, okay, so what's supposed to happen is Trump is supposed to see that. It's a peaceful protest. A real leader would say, okay, this is democracy in action. What I'm supposed to do is listen to what they're saying and then enact change. Because that's how, you know, that's just how a democracy works. But then Trump just kind of took it the other way. He just said, you know, screw all of you, all over the world, you know, all of the United States who are marching for this stuff. And you know what? You're just going to take it. You know, we're not going to, we're not going to do, we're not going to have any legislation. We're not going to, you know, we're going to, we're going to build a database. We're going to build some, some little Microsoft access database somewhere. And if a police does something wrong, we're going to enter their name in a database. Ooh, you know what that, dude, for real? I mean, seriously, what a freaking, I mean, they were laughing their ass off when they came up with that. Let's, let's, they were like, okay, let's see how we can make, you know, add insult to injury the best. And they're like, oh, yeah, let's create this access database and enter somebody's name in it. And, you know, they're all sitting around just laughing their ass off at that idea. Um, yeah, I mean, Trump had to lose. He had to go. I mean, this guy doesn't even respect the Constitution. He, he um, started his campaign with Lugan Presse, and then he wanted to, um, you know, essentially – uh, get rid of the First Amendment. He wanted to create these libel laws that would tie journalists up so bad that they wouldn't be able to write any stories about anybody because they'd be so afraid of getting sued by everybody. Um, he wanted to shut down the, all the social media and the internet by doing away with Section 230. And if he did that, nobody would be able to post anything online unless it was completely um, reviewed and moderated by the platform and determined that it was okay to post because they were liable. They would be liable at that point for anything that was posted on the platform. So getting rid of Section 230 would immediately shut down social media and the internet. And all these people, like Bondingo, who, you know, was for it, you know, is just a total idiot. I mean, this Bondingo guy, he's an ex-cop. He was, he was, you know, trained to lie to people. Right. I mean, you talk about somebody who's like not trustworthy. Um, and then you got like, you know, Flynn who wanted and pillow man who wanted to, um, you know, over this is but this is after the election. Right. So they wanted to essentially like overthrow the government with martial law. Right. And then General Milley had to come out and say that, you know, he had to give a special speech. I've never seen this before where a general comes out and he gives a speech to reassure people that, you know, they follow the Constitution and they don't follow a leader. I mean, he sent a clear message to everyone saying, you know what, all this stuff is happening. There's all these rumors. You know, we are going to follow the Constitution because this is America. We're not going to follow uh, a, a dictatorship down like a, a, a dictatorship road of, of using the military to take over the government because of a, of a sore loser who didn't want to lose an election. I mean, um, 
I don't know. It's just ridiculous. I, I can't believe anyone would actually support Trump uh, at this point. And I don't support anything that these people come up with. I mean, anything, anything Fox News says and anything these Republicans say, I mean, immediately, I'm just thinking, you know, just believe the total opposite and you'll be a good person in life. You know, open the borders, you know, uh, respect the Constitution, give people the freedom to post stuff online. Um, you know, then you're going to say, oh, well, you know, the First Amendment and this and that, and, you know, the, the tech companies are blocking people. Well, you know, I, I, I do agree with that. I get kicked off of social media all the time when, when I voice my opinion about anything. People, they target me and they, and they get me kicked off. But, I mean, I think the real outrage happened when they when they purged all these, like, QAnon accounts and all these, like, these QAnon hoaxes that people, they, they knew they were hoaxes. Um, and then at that point is when, you know, Trump and everyone got, and then when Trump's stuff got flagged, you know, that's when... The war on 230 began, you know, um, but, you know, I, I agree with removing the garbage, you know, but the thing is, is that, you know, you don't, it's become too sensitive, you know, their, their um, algorithms have become too sensitive to what they think is garbage, what should or should not be on their platform. They need to lighten up on the sensitivity, let more stuff flow through. And then when something is obviously garbage and people are obviously posting bad stuff, like the QAnon stuff. You know, at that point, step in and, you know, get rid of it. You know, just take out the trash. But, um, yeah, I mean, I could talk all day about why Trump doesn't believe in the Constitution. Um, if you believe in freedom, you know, you can't possibly uh, believe in Donald Trump. I mean, he wanted to create, and, and these patriots, these people who follow him, they want, like I say, they want the patriot jackboot society. You know, they want... They want police to run the show. They want the military to run the government. Uh, they don't want to press. They want something that looks like North Korea. I mean, this is what you get with Donald Trump, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, all the reasons why, you know, I'm Team Biden all the way.